feeling ever returning. Speaking with my mother directly in my experience will either lead to some odd newfound moment of clarity in regards to how she was as my mother, or she retreats back to daddy to move forward with a conversation, and I'm tired of hearing my mother's truths. Um, newsflash, I'm not sure if people know, but sting standing in your truth doesn't make you noble. Um, What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Fullerin. All right, all right, all right, all right. Monique. Monique. Oh my, my goodness. Can it get even worse? I mean, you know if you're going to say so much for so long, sooner or later something else is going to happen. Well, Monique just happened to have a fourth son. Never knew. She always talked about three. She has an older son. And uh, he decides he wants to come out and set the record straight. Must be something she said during Club Shay Shay or on stage when she's traveling with Cat Williams uh, about something with him and her reconciling. And she's, I don't know. I haven't seen it. But he is commenting on it, and we got it right here. So, I'm not even going to hold it up. I'm going to let it run all the way through, and I'm going to catch y'all at the end. I know y'all like me interrupt. I'm not going to interrupt the young man because it's short. It's about nine minutes. All right? So y'all just buckle in and listen. Monique's son, and uh, y'all know what to do before we hit that. Hit that subscribe, and you know what else? That notification to get the next video. Let's go, Monique's son. Hi. <laughs> I am Shalon. I am a stand-up comedian, Monique's oldest son. Um, I guess I felt the need to make this video to just provide some context into this false narrative about her praying to the universe in order to reconcile our relationship or whatever the hell it is. Um, I wrote it all down so that way I don't go all over the place and get emotional or anything like that. I can, So I'm going to talk like I'm reading a script, but it's just going to help me kind of stay together. Um, but, uh, to address the, uh, Club Shay Shay interview that she did where she states that she prays to the universe in regards to reconciling our relationship, as I stated, um, is odd. Uh, my mother and I both know that that is a very false narrative and I would like to free her of having to continue telling that lie. Faith without work is dead and neither one of us cares to put forth any effort to reconcile with the other. Uh, we are separate, as she put it, because she doesn't care to be my mother any more than I care to be her son. Neither one of us uh, has had the desire to reach out to the other in a very long time, and I don't think that either of us anticipates that feeling ever returning. Speaking with my mother directly in my experience will either lead to some odd newfound moment of clarity in regards to how she was as my mother, or she retreats back to daddy to move forward with a conversation. And I'm tired of hearing my mother's truths. Um, newsflash, I'm not sure if people know, but sting standing in your truth doesn't make you noble. Um, I'm not sure if people are aware of that. Uh, but responding this way, I feel as though it allows me to say my piece uninterrupted um, to those wondering, well, why say something now? Mm, call it a form of therapy for me, I suppose. Um, but when her daddy had intentionally state, stated that they have three sons, but his wife is on the internet talking about the fourth son in a video that has millions of views, that rubbed me the wrong way. Um, but anyway, to inform a child that you are not interested in being a mother at a time when that kid is the only kid that has the potential to lead a child to believe that you are not interested in them specifically. Uh, but to take it a step further, <clears throat> you also admit, my mother had also admitted to me that she didn't do the best job that she could do, um, which would also make one begin to question, you know, all of your past decisions and prior emotional interactions. But to be completely honest and fair, um, 
you know, those were things that I was willing to get over. You know, nobody's perfect. We're all human. But my mother showed a clear lack of humility, compassion, and consideration when taking any level of accountability for those things. Um, my mother does a fantastic job of acknowledging a lot of things, but she doesn't take accountability very well, and anything that she may take true accountability for, it's only at her convenience, uh, in my experience. Um, but if I had to guess, though, her interest in being a mother probably started around the time that she married her daddy and had his children. Um, but that interest, you know, obviously seemed one-sided, and as it should have been. Um, by that time, I'm in my late teens, so to some degree, the <coughs> excuse me, the neglect becomes easier to hide or validate. I guess you could say there are now two baby boys in the house, you know, that require attention. Um, but still, during that time, however, I still watched her enjoy the love and admiration of total strangers more than my own. Uh, to this very day, my mother has never expressed to me when, if ever, um, she became interested in me as her son. That did lead me down a path of questioning my self-worth and struggling to understand the value of a mother in a child's life. In the interview, she also states that she gave me an apology. But an apology to a son from a mother that consciously showed no interest in him holds no weight. Um, there are still women to this day. Uh, that my mother will give credit to for being more of a mother to me than she ever could. Her assistant, my cousin, being one of them. Um, every time, though, that my mother would state that she was right here whenever I was ready, um, that ideology still blows my mind today that a person could openly admit to being an uninterested, not put my best foot forward type of parent and be so self-centered that they still express to the kid you have to come to me when you ready you got to come to me for us to make this right <laughs> okay um well i'm not sure what my mother could possibly think that she has shown me in the past or have for me now that's not money goodness gracious that would make me want to come to her or or whatever that whatever those feelings are supposed to be um a mother is supposed to be the first woman that a boy falls in love with. Uh, I loved my mother very much, uh, but my mother loved things more than she loved me. And she would validate her love for me by giving me things and would proceed to call me ungrateful or inconsiderate if said things did not have the desired effect. Um, I couldn't imagine what it's like to be her, though, uh, to ask God for what you want. And then he gives you what you need, though only for you to ignore it and have the audacity to ask God for something else. And um, I'm glad I don't, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do that. Um, and when he told you no, uh, you went to the universe instead. Um, by no means though, do I wanna give off any type of an impression that I am a victim of, of anything. Um, I, that's not the case. As you can see, I'm smiling from ear to ear. Um, I'm alive, I'm happy, I'm a dad, um, I'm healthy, I think. <laughs> I drink a lot of water, I'm getting over a cold now. Um, you know, I still have my days just like everybody else. And, you know, there were a few things that she did teach me along the way. Uh, I did learn how not to love from my mother. Um, I also learned to make sure that I never lose so much of who I am that I have to validate it through another person. Um, and though I feel as though, you know, in hindsight, you know, I think she did it reluctantly. I do appreciate my mother, you know, for showing me what the top of the mountain looks like. You know what I'm saying? It did give me perspective on what hard work and dedication can get you. But I don't want something like that at the cost of giving up something that I created. I'm not, I don't want it, I don't want it that bad. And speaking of creations, I genuinely, truly, I really did want my mother to have a relationship with my daughter. Um, I even fought through those intrusive thoughts that were, if she wasn't interested in you, what makes you think she's going to be interested in your kid? Um, but it took my mother no time at all to prove that those intrusive thoughts were correct. Um, but what I can say, good for her, the universe 
did, uh, you know, bless her with three other sons. Bless her with three other sons. And God willing, um, you know, I'm sure that one of them, all three of them are adults now. So I'm sure that all, you know, one of them, God willing, if not all three of them, will make her the grandmother that she wants to be. Um, I'm, I look for, I still look forward, you know, to that moment for her. Um, but overall, when it comes to the boys, though, uh, I am happy that whenever they do hear me talk, or, sorry, my phone did something weird, but no, but whenever they hear me talk, um, they don't know what it is. They can't, they can't relate to what it is that I'm saying. My experience with my mother is not their experience, um, with our mother. Uh, so my prayer for her and them is that they continue to see her the way that they see her now. Um, I do also want to make sure that I say thank you to my mother for giving me life. Without that moment in time, I wouldn't have had my little one. But outside of that moment, there isn't anything that either of us, that either of us has to offer the other. Um, in my opinion, it's a waste of God's time and the universe's time for praying for something that you were not willing to put forth any effort to obtain. Uh, putting the work into becoming Monique is more important to my mother than being my mother. And I do not believe that it was it was never about her being there and waiting for me, but it was supposed to be about me being there and waiting for her. Um, my mother's value had reached such a low point in my life that I no longer found it necessary to either want to wait for her or even go to her. Um, but like I said, man, I'm super grateful that she has the opportunity to do it all over again. You know, I'm happy for her. I hope the Cat Williams tour goes well, but you know, the narrative that she prays for us to reconcile is a false narrative. It's not real, and I'd appreciate it if she stopped saying stuff like that. Okay, okay, okay. So, Monique has an older son by the name of Shalong. He didn't say his age, but it seemed like he might be uh, really old. Cause she said the other three are, like, young adults now. So, he's, he's probably old, old. So, she may have had him when she was younger. But um, it's sad that he has a child and she hasn't taken up um, an interest in being in a child's life. But there's always two sides to every story. So I do know how sometimes these kids, these older kids that grew up with the parents who, you know, a lot of parents don't know any better coming up. They didn't, wasn't raised well and they just don't know to have kids early. So, you know, the love and how to give things and all this, it comes differently. And the kids don't understand because the parents are still learning. That's the big thing. So it's probably two parts to the story, but, you know, why they haven't connected to, and maybe she waiting on him, maybe he waiting on, you know, she waiting on him, he waiting on her. But, you know, now he didn't put it out there, so it's going to be out in the universe, as she says. And I noticed he mentioned uh, her husband, Daddy, a lot. So I think that might be an issue. Because he mentioned that and he said, Daddy. You know, with Daddy. And then, you know, she was blessed with three more sons. You know, so it's an issue there. There's something going on with that and Daddy might have something to do with it. But now that it's out there, let's see how uh, Monique going to respond to it. Is she going to go off on him? Is she going to embrace it? Um, who knows? You know, I would keep it secret. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even make no comments um, out into the public, all this public apology type shit that every, you know, they think they're doing everybody. I'm apologizing public. I, I apologize to the world. You know, let's cut all that out. If you're going to apologize, reach out to the person to apologize. And keep it moving. You know, somebody upset you, keep it to yourselves. Don't go telling everybody everything and trying to make a big thing out of it. And now they need, now you make it public. So now you need a public apology. You know what I mean? So that's my feel on this thing, man. I Honestly, I hope they work it out. Um, for the little girl's sake, she'll get to know her grandmother and, I don't know if you want daddy to be her granddaddy, but they're a pair, so, I mean, who knows? Daddy might not want to know them. So, it is what it is, and uh hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that 
subscribe, like, share, and definitely hit that notification. Make sure you comment. Let me know what your thoughts on this and how you think Monique should respond. Well, as always and always, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.